Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Wax Mode channel. In today's video, I'm going to showcase to you guys what it looks like when we rinse the coatings down shortly after applying them to the paint. It's a little demonstration of a worst case scenario when we take true ceramic paint coatings like these and forgo their curing times and introduce water too soon after applying them to the paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash the paint and show you guys the reaction with the water behavior as well. So for this test, I was working with CarPro C-Quartz UK and also McKees 37 SiO2 Enhanced Paint Coating. And I've already done initial review videos for both of these coatings. If you guys take a look in the description, I'll have links set up so that you can go and check those videos out. Now both of these coatings were applied 10 to 15 minutes ago onto the paint. I applied C-Quartz UK first and about 5 minutes afterwards I applied the McKees 37. And I was getting a bit of a drizzle that occurred after I got done wiping off the McKees 37 coating. So this test panel just became the perfect test subject to really focus in on this topic. I've got the McKees 37 paint coating on the right half of the hood. On the left half, I've got the C-Quartz UK version 2.0. It's not the latest 3.0 version that's out. Both those versions were very similar in performance to each other. The paint was prepped using McKees 37 coating prep polish, followed up with McGuire's M205 finishing polish. And then I use CarPro Eraser to give that final wipe down to remove all the polishing oils. Now taking a look at the first rinse here. This performance actually doesn't look that bad. It's nowhere near the performance, however, when we've allowed the coatings to actually go through that first 24-hour cure period. Now I'm going to explain that as well. Both CarPro and McKees 37 recommend the same 24-hour cure period to keep the coatings dry before you introduce moisture to them. And CarPro even goes a bit further. They say to avoid detergents and chemicals for a period of five days after the initial application. So you definitely want to follow the manufacturer's recommended guidelines. And I can already see at the beginning of this test here, we have seen a significant reduction in both these coatings normal performance by not following that curing time. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get the Meguiar's Hyperwash soap out. Give the panel a quick wash and rinse and then check to see how that impacts the, the performance of the coatings. Alright, so after a quick wash with Meguiar's Hyperwash, we're just going to check to see the water behavior. Now, what I'm noticing out of the McKees 37 is it certainly doesn't seem like it's as impacted compared to the Seacourts UK side here on the left. So those surfactants in the soap certainly have more of an impact with Seacourts UK and their recommendation to wait five days before washing the paint, before dumping chemicals down them is certainly relevant. Now the next step in this test is to determine if this really puts a total block on the coating's ability to cure or if this is just more of a temporary block. So what I'm going to do is dry the paint off. I'm going to wait 24 hours, come back out here and rinse the paint to see if we see an improvement in the performance. All right, this is 24 hours after doing the first initial wash and rinse test. Uh, I pulled the panel inside after drying it. We let it sit in there for 24 hours. And you can see immediately that both coatings have continued to cure effectively. And taking a look at the McKees 37 side, it looks like it's around the same type of hydrophobic performance as what we would notice if we did not wash it early and did not rinse it early. But with the C-Quartz UK side, I am seeing a bit of a drop in performance by washing and rinsing it early. So we haven't fully blocked the coating's ability to continue to cure by rinsing early, but we have stunted the performance of Seacourts UK a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait another 24 hours, come back out here and rinse it off again to see if we can see Seacourts UK improve on its performance anymore. This is 48 hours after the initial wash and rinse test. And one of the things that I do want to mention for CarPro is they do have a procedure in place just in case you guys know that you're not going to be able to allow the C-Quartz coating to properly cure over the one to five day period. If you guys have the kit that comes with CarPro Reload, that's their spray sealant, they recommend to apply Reload within a 30 to 60 minute window after applying C-Quartz to the paint. That's going to help seal in that fresh layer of C-Quartz. And this is going to help protect it against an untimely rainstorm. Now with this rinse here, I can tell that C-Quartz UK has not improved on its initial performance after waiting the 24 hour period. So we're at 48 hours and it's not improving. We have permanently stunted its performance at this point. In the next clips, I'm gonna show you guys how C-Quartz UK and McKees 37 are performing after a proper cure. 
All right, taking a look at Seacourt UK on the paint here, I can tell that the hydrophobics are a little bit more crisp after a proper cure, uh, a little bit tighter beading, a little bit faster water sheeting. And so we're missing out on that extra form of performance that Seacourt UK is really known for compared to other coatings. McKees 37 is good. It's not going to be able to achieve this level of hydrophobicity by itself. Um, so when we wash it and we rinse it early, if, as far as Seacourt UK goes, we're missing out on a lot of extra performance. In this clip on the right half of the hood, I have the SIO2 Enhanced McKees 37 coating after a proper cure. On the left half, I've got the older version of the M37 coating. And so it doesn't look like the hydrophobics are impacted at all by an early wash and rinse test. What I don't know is the long-term impact of washing and rinsing the coating. Even though the hydrophobics are the same now, I don't know how many months I would shave off the lifespan of the coating by washing and rinsing it early compared to allowing it to fully cure properly. So to try to close this video out, you know, coatings go through a much drastic form of curing compared to your waxes and your polymer-based sealants. Coatings are going to take much longer to actually fully harden to the surface. And you can see when I rinse in the short term, some coatings like Seacourt UK are going to be more impacted by an early wash and rinse compared to your coatings like McKees 37. An early wash and rinse is not going to completely kill these specific coatings, but you still want to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for curing in order to get the best performance. But that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more test videos coming up in the future.